Sickle Cell Anemia in Pregnancy This is a patient simulated task. The task assesses the following. Information gathering, communication with patient, applied clinical knowledge, patient safety. You are the SE5 in the antenatal clinic. You are about to see Sarah James, 24 years old, has come for preconceptional counseling. She is a case of sickle cell anemia. Your task is to take relevant history, formulate management plan, address her concerns. Hi, I'm Dr. Ankita, one of the doctors here. What may I call you? May I confirm your age, please? What do you do, Sarah? I believe you are trying for a pregnancy and you have sickle cell anemia. Is that right? Well, first of all, let me appreciate you for coming to us now as it is important to be in the best of the health prior to pregnancy. Sarah, I may need to ask you a few questions. Is that okay with you? So, Sarah, can you tell me more about the condition? I can see you have gone through a lot, Sarah. We are here to help you. So when was the last time you received blood? Were you admitted for any complaints specifically, any pains or breathlessness ever before? Are you seeing your specialist? When was the last time you saw your specialist? Have you done any investigations that you are aware of? Are you having any current complaints, Sarah? Have you been pregnant before? So do you have any other medical problems you are seeing your GP for? Any previous surgeries? Are you using any contraceptive currently? Oh yes, condom is a good contraceptive, but we could also discuss other options that may be more effective if you wish, Sarah, because it is important to delay pregnancy till we complete your investigations. Are you currently taking any medications? Sarah, are you allergic to anything? Do you smoke? What about alcohol? Any recreational drugs? Are you well supported at home? Have you been vaccinated for rubella? And have you received any other vaccines that we usually offer uh, women in situation like yours? Is your husband tested for the sickle gene? Nice to know he is fine. However, the disease happens when there are two abnormal genes. Sometimes a person who is otherwise fit may carry one gene, something we refer to as a carrier state. In that case, there is a chance that he could transmit the gene to the baby. Hence, it may be required to test your husband for the gene. We could offer you the needle test in pregnancy in case your husband is not willing for, to get tested wherein we pass a needle into your womb to collect certain cells of the baby from around the baby and test it for the gene. Is that okay with you, Sarah? So thank you, Sarah, for all the information. Is there anything else you want me to know? Do you have any specific concerns? Yes, I will try my best to address all your concerns and take you through your management plan. So currently, I could refer you to the specialist. You mentioned you are taking hydroxyurea. It may not be very safe for the baby, Sarah. So we may have to stop the medications and even then, it's recommended that the pregnancy is delayed for at least three months after stopping. Am I clear? 
We would also need to offer you folic acid 5 mg that you could continue in the pregnancy and we'll have to go through your records as well to check if you have received certain vaccines. We usually recommend the pneumococcus, haemophilus, hepatitis and meningococcus. Also, Sarah, we may need to consider antibiotics in order to reduce the chance of, of infections. Sarah, we would also offer you certain tests that include blood tests to check your hemoglobin, your iron levels, kidney and liver function, test for certain red cell antibodies. There's, these are proteins that can affect the type of blood you receive. Sarah, we could also offer you tests to check your eyes and echo for the heart because these are the organs that may be affected because of sickle cell anemia. Generally, Sarah, women in situation like yours can have a straightforward pregnancy. However, there may be certain effects on the pregnancy. There may be a higher chance of miscarriage urinary tract and other infections, having higher blood pressures in pregnancy, bleeding in pregnancy. Sometimes the baby may grow slightly slower, may require early delivery as well. Also, there is a slightly higher chance that you could develop blood clots. You may, need, you may experience worsening of anemia, may need more frequent blood transfusions, may need frequent admissions as there may be a higher chance of pains or breathlessness, etc. Sarah, I don't mean to scare you. With effective management in pregnancy, these problems can be reduced. After pregnancy, you would be looked after by a team of specialist doctors, like a consultant and your specialist. We encourage you to follow up with consultant with frequent, frequent visits. Some of the tests mentioned earlier like the blood tests and the ECO may have to be repeated. We would also offer you aspirin from 12 weeks of pregnancy in order to reduce the chance of developing high blood pressure. We may also need to offer you blood thinners, particularly in case you are admitted. We would offer you regular ultrasound for monitoring the growth of the baby and urine tests for infection. We would also offer you a review by anesthetist before planning delivery. Throughout pregnancy, Sarah, we encourage you to keep well hydrated, mobile and stress free. You can have a vaginal delivery unless other factors indicate a caesarean delivery. We recommend that you deliver in an obstetric unit, Sarah. You will be offered continuous external monitoring of the baby. We will make sure you are well hydrated. Pain management options will be discussed with you. Blood will be kept available for you in case required. After delivery, we could offer you certain medications to reduce the risk of bleeding. Am I clear, Sarah? After delivery, we encourage you to keep well hydrated as well as, and mobile as possible. We would offer you painkillers as well as blood thinners to prevent clots. You can breastfeed the baby. We could discuss about future contraception as well. You would be offered a review by your specialist as well. Any questions you have, please feel free to ask. Thank you for your time, Sarah. So I'll write back to your GP and document this in your notes. Here is your written information for you. Thank you.